Hello, it's Robin, the Artsy Bohemian, coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. I hope you are all well. I am going to show you today something that I started three years ago. Um, and it was for my somebody in my family. I don't want to say who because I don't know if she's going to be watching. But it's going to be a Christmas gift. I thought um, since we can't be together this year, I'd send her something nice and sentimental. They're pictures of when we went to Europe three years ago. So I had made the book cover and I used Eileen Hull's uh, scoreboard to make this um, kind of traveler traveler's notebook size uh, journal to put the pictures in and I don't know if I did do it right or something but it just never worked I <clears throat> tried making it work and I just just thought I'm just gonna rip it out it was it's the spine that didn't work and I'd made one out of leather and I just don't like I just don't like this here it's just too stiff and it was too stiff on here and I might have done it wrong I don't know but I had already decorated the front I was excited and I kept thinking it was going to work but it just didn't open properly and then when I would try to open it it would crack and so I, I think I tried three different ways to mend it and I just said to heck with it I'm going to rip it out and start all over again and I don't I didn't want to get rid of this because I already decorated it so I'm going to just figure out how to do it and show you. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work or not, but, um, you know, normally when you make a book, you have your three pieces, the, the front, the back, and then the spine, and then you lay those pieces of cardstock or chipboard on your substrate, whatever it's going to be, paper or fabric, and then you glue it down. Well, I have to figure out how to do this and just do the spine. And so what I thought I might try is, I got, um, my husband had ordered something and this it came in this really cool package and the package was made out of Tyvek, which most of you know is very strong. And here's the package. I just kind of undid it and then cut a piece out. And I made a spine that's one inches wide. I didn't want it to be a big, it's not gonna be a big you know, book. Not, it's not going to have a lot of pictures in it, but, um, so this is my one inch spine and I, I'll put it this way, I think, and I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to have about an eighth of an inch between the two, the front and the back cover. And so that would mean that would be an inch and a quarter. And then I added another half an inch to either side to, to lay on the front and to lay on the back to make it two and a quarter inches long. So we'll see how this goes. So I, and I'm, what I'm probably going to wind up doing is maybe adding paint to the front to kind of get rid of some of those marks that um, where I had ripped it off. Because the things I had put on there were really on there. I'm just eyeballing it. I um, that looks about right. I'm gonna make a little overage here. I might even just use the whole whole part of this and then cover it up. <clears throat> Cause I might also use some of the uh, fabric tape just to strengthen the inside. We'll see. So you might have noticed that I wasn't here last week. I just had so much, um, so many orders. By the way, thank you for everybody who ordered from me. I and I was a little bit burnt out after doing the 12 days of Christmas. Um, 
and so I just couldn't get the oomph to, to make another video. Um, and to be honest, this one was difficult too, because you know, Christmas is busy, even if, you know, you don't, I mean, I don't do a lot of shopping. It's just, there's a lot, just a lot going on. And I'm really ramping up for a uh, new class I'm gonna be um, launching in the beginning of the year. So because I do most all of the work myself, I mean, eventually someday it'd be nice to hire somebody. So this is gonna be, that should be good around eighth of an inch. Um, I do all the, the work on my website. I have somebody who helps me who I pay if I need to. Um, but I've pretty much built my whole online school on my own. And, um, every time there's a new, every time I do a new feature or do something new on the site, it's a whole learning curve. So, um, I have a wait list for the class if you're interested. It is the first time that I've ever done anything like this. And that's why I'm saying this is a new, it's a new venture for me. I'm going to be doing a, a series of live workshops for those of you who want to start your own business as a creative. Um, there's not a lot of us out there that do this on our own. There's tons of people that teach yoga and health and fitness and you know business to business type of workshops, but um, and on you know diet and all that. There's a lot of that, especially you know classes on how to make money whatever field that you're in but there's not a lot for us who are artists and um i would love to show you what how i have been able to do it and um it's going to be a kind of a class where you're going to kind of tell me what you need and um you're, you'll be a founding member and like i said it's going to be live uh, you're gonna we're gonna meet each other in person on a zoom call and I'll show you how to do zoom if you don't know how to do zoom I'll think about the things that I think about whenever I'm using technology to help you because I know how it is we as creatives don't think the same way as most people <laughs> right so um, <clears throat> it's not that we lack it's that we don't think that way so I would like to um, help you with that. And that could be anything from you wanting to start an online Etsy store or learn how to teach online and start your own online school or start a YouTube channel or how to market your work, how to get published, just all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna be the one that tells me. And I will have a link down below for the wait list I'm not real sure what the name is going to be. It's probably going to be something like um, Business for Artists 101 or something really simple so you know what exactly what it is. And um, I'm kind of excited. I'm a little nervous because I've never done a live video, um, you know, a, a live online class. And it will be good forever. And any updates that I make to the class, you will be involved in without having to pay extra. So that's kind of what I've been working on and um, I've also started working on this project that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with IOD um, Prima transfers, the whole transfer uh, mania. It's amazing, amazing things that you can do with the transfers. Anyway, I'm redoing a cabinet that's going to go in my den and it's going to be, I'm going to bohemify it. So kind of just trying to catch up on stuff that I haven't been able to do for a long time and organizing, organizing my stuff. Okay. So that's on there and I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. I'll kind of make another piece for that. I hope this is not crooked. So that's where I've been and I hope you guys are um, 
baking or shopping or doing whatever you want you you do during the holidays. It's going to be a different scenario this year, isn't it? I am from San Diego and I live in Los Angeles because my husband went to school up here and we just never went back. And um that's where our family is. So for over 30 years, that's where we go. We don't stay at home. And it's it was actually kind of nice for Thanksgiving to stay home. Um, and we're going to be doing the same for Christmas. So, and I like to cook. So it's not that's not a that's kind of neat too to be able to make my own food. So let me know what you guys are doing for the holidays. You're going to be crafting cleaning up and organizing your workspace. What plans do you have maybe for 2021? So I think this will be a good, this will work out good here. This had, was a little off because I'd cut it a little bit too wonky, but it'll be okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think that'll work out. And think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of paint it a little here, make it look a little chippy and kind of shabby chic. Um, and then I'm just gonna add the signatures. I'm gonna punch holes in here. It's gonna be fairly simple. I don't want it. I kind of, you know, it's just going to be showcasing the photos, but that would be good for you to see if you have some a project like this that where you didn't know how to make the spine work with the uh, front and back covers. This is the stuff from the when it was sent here. I'm going to cover the insides. I'm going to find some uh, papers that I want for the inside here because I'm going to have to redo that. I think what I'll do first, though, is I'm going to put this tape down. Maybe I won't. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tape this is it's called book guard it's heavy duty uh fabric tape it's made for a book binding and so i'm gonna make it shorter on the top and the bottom because i'm gonna then put some decorative paper on the sides here to get kind of cover all this and this down here so It's going to be covered up. It'll just be used to reinforce what I have here already. Let's see. right back I'm gonna get some paper to cover this so I found some paper that had some French text on it and I like the color and I cut it to size and I'm just marking on the edges where to place it I'm going to spread some glue with the brush on here I couldn't I have this really great paste called yes paste and I couldn't find it so I'd prefer to use that because it's it doesn't usually bubble but this if I if I spread it with a brush it should be okay
half at a time. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the before and afters of my cabinet. I'm really excited about it when it's, hopefully it'll come out nice. I just bought all the transfers and they're in all these bright bohemian style motifs with butterflies and bright colors. Really pretty. So um, let me know if you want to see the transformation. I might even do a little bit of live before and after painting on the on the project. Okay, put I glued both sides. Just gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna punch holes. Still not sure if I'm going to make, I might make it a binding. I was gonna do it like a traveler's notebook where you have the, you know, the elastic bands, but I'm not sure now. And then what I did was um, I had you know everything's digital so all these were from my camera my phone my iPhone and then I just downloaded them and printed them out on paper and um, each section I stamped where we were so I didn't have to do on on each picture I'll probably write little notes underneath neath each picture um, but this one's Paris here and then all the other places that we went so I'll show you once I have that all, once this has dried, what it looks like. So I decided to use a strip of the same paper from the inside on the outside spine so it covers the um, torn parts of the outside. And I still might add a little something here. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, that'll look pretty. I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so now I have everything's dry and I made the marks where I'm going to punch holes. I'm using my Japanese hole punch and I have most of my signatures ready. I still have to put more pictures in them and I'm going to put little um, summaries of what's inside of each signature and then I will add all of them and let you see what it looks like when it's done. All right, I finished uh, binding it just with a you know, by punching the holes and then putting the wax cord through. Um, I still have to do one more signature and it's gonna, and I, I didn't have time to finish it for this video, but it's basically gonna be the same, just with a more updated pictures of my family for my, um, to the person I'm giving this to. So, um, yeah, it's very simple. This is probably the skinniest, book I've ever made. <laughs> Usually they're so full I can't even close them. Um, but it's for, you know, it's kind of like a photo album, like an artsy photo album. And I just added some trim here. I really like this down here. It's a, it's an actual um, label, a Denison label. And then I typed on my computer in the um, courier font this so it looks like an old-fashioned typewriter and then um, I showed you how to make these uh, a couple weeks ago in my 12 days of Christmas so I'm going to use this as a note I'll probably add another little maybe make a bigger one and add um, a sentiment on here and yeah I just made a little pocket to put this in and yeah, it's just each signature. Oh, I thought I would show you this. I'm using this pen to write 
um, little things on each page. It's a Japanese pen. I've had it for a while. It's a Pentel. That's a super long felt tip. And it's very interesting the way that you can write with it. So... I hope you enjoyed that uh, short and sweet and just shows you that you can take something that maybe you didn't think was going to work instead of trashing it you can revise it and um, recycle it um, by making this type of a, a spine for your binding all right and don't forget sign up down below for my wait list if you're a creative person and you want to take your hobby to the next level by selling your your either your talent or your merchandise um, it's going to be a um, business class for creatives uh, 101 and because I'm an artist and I've been doing this for a long time I have an idea of how you think and I can break it down the way that others might not be able to break it down and there's going to be a lot more information, but just sign up for the wait list. There's no obligation. I'm going to break it down for you how it's going to work. And um, uh, yeah, it's going to start sometime in January. All right. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.